Hi, my name is Miss Melissa, and I am a teaching artist in the PACE program with the Acadiana Center for the Arts and the Lafayette Parish School System in Lafayette, Louisiana. Today, we are going to be learning about magical trapezoids by creating a really cool looking building. Well, first, you are probably wondering what is a magical trapezoid? Well, I'm sure you know what a trapezoid is, and I have a picture actually on the wall right here. This is a trapezoid, and it's made up of what type of line? Very good, a straight line. And the straight line goes in different directions. The one on the bottom and the one on the top goes in the same direction. This is called what? Horizontal, very good. Now let's look at the lines on the side. Those are in a slanted direction called what? Diagonal. Very good. So how can we make this magical? What's so magical about it? Well, basically, I'm going to show you a trick on how to make a perspective drawing with that shape. And you might be thinking, well, what is perspective? Perspective is the ability to make a drawing look real. So look right behind me. Now, do you see these two dots? These two dots, also known as two points, this is called a two-point perspective drawing. These two dots help create these two shapes. Did you notice the shapes? They are the same thing as this. You have two trapezoids basically on its side, okay? So that's the really neat thing about it. That's how it becomes magical because then you can turn this into the illusion of a three-dimensional building because it looks, it looks three-dimensional, but it's not. It's really on a piece of paper. So that is why I call the trapezoids magical. So now I'm going to show you how to do this very trick. How to create a two-point perspective drawing by using the magical trapezoids to get the illusion of a three-dimensional building. So let's go ahead and get your supplies so we can get started. You're going to need one sheet of white paper. Copy paper's fine. If you don't have a white sheet of paper, you can always use a recycled sheet, um, meaning you can turn it over on the back, or any kind of paper that is light in color. You're also gonna need a pencil, an eraser, a pair of scissors, and a ruler. Now, if you don't have a ruler, you could always use a book, because we're gonna be tracing with a ruler and if, again, you could always use the straight edge of a, um, of a book, so. But I have a ruler, so you're gonna need that. And lastly, we're gonna use markers today. Now, if you don't have markers, you can use crayons. I like to use markers because it glides on very easy. So these are the supplies you will need. Please pause your video so you can get them ready, and I will be here when you get back. Now, let's get your paper ready. We're gonna cut this so we can start the drawing. Now, before we cut it, I'm gonna show you how to fold it. We're gonna fold it in half. I'm gonna show you the wrong way first. Do not fold it into a hot dog bun shape. We don't want a long piece of paper, no. I want you to fold it in half like a book, okay? You're going to have the corners touch and the sides. Once you get that, you can press it and make a crease, just like that. Then you're gonna open it up and we're going to cut down the line. Now, when you open your scissors and cut, you always wanna open your scissors as wide as you can so the paper can go way into the back of the mouth 
of the scissors. I always call this the mouth. It kind of reminds me of an alligator's mouth, okay? So watch, I'm gonna show you. And never put your hands in the way. Always keep your hands out of the way. So you're gonna open the mouth of the scissors really big and we're going to cut. Now I'm holding my paper. I'm going to open the scissors and slide the paper in the back of his mouth and cut. Still holding my paper. Open, slide the paper back and cut. Very good. We're done with the scissors. Now we don't need one half, but so you can get rid of one half and we're gonna use the other half. So this is all you need for your drawing. Now we can get started. First thing I wanna do is find the middle of my paper. So I'm gonna take a guess that my paper, the middle of my paper is here. I'm gonna put a tiny little mark, okay? Now, what I wanna do is take my ruler and go straight across. Now, your paper is gonna be the long way, so we are going to go straight across with our ruler. Our ruler should be going side to side, just like our paper, horizontal. It should be lining up, all right? Now, once you get that straight line, Let's get rid of that little dot. We're gonna make two points on the end of the line. Let's draw two tiny dots. Now I'm drawing mine a little bit darker so you could see it. We're gonna eventually erase these. Do you see the two points or the two dots? Okay, I'm getting my paper set up for my two point perspective drawing. Very good. And the two points are always going to be on this straight line, also known as the horizon line. Okay. All right. The next thing that we're going to do is make two little dots. So I'm going to put my pencil on the middle. We're going to take a guess of where the middle is. It didn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to go straight up and put another dot at the top. And if you want to, you can take your ruler and just kind of help guide you down to make another dot at the bottom. Or you can just draw your finger on your paper and put a dot at the bottom, however you can get your dot at the top and bottom. Now let's count our dots. We started here, one, two, three, and four. We have four dots. Now we can start making our shapes, our magical trapezoids. But before we do that, we're actually gonna make some other shapes. So. Here we go, let's connect the dots. You're gonna take your ruler and put it right through the middle of these two dots, starting at the top and going at the side. Okay, now let's connect these two. This dot to the bottom. And then the bottom dot to the side. It's connecting the dots and then this side all the way to the top. Hold your ruler down and we're tracing the edge of our ruler. Now, what shape is this? Very good, if you were thinking it is a rhombus, also known as a diamond. Now, if you look at the top half, you see what shape? Good, a triangle. And the bottom half, you also see a what? triangle very good now we're going to use these two shapes the two triangles or the the one diamond however you look at it and we're going to create our trapezoid so first thing i need you to do is take your ruler and draw and hold it straight up and down going vertical 
through your two dots. Hold it and let's trace just like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in at about an inch. So watch, I'm gonna show you on my ruler there are numbers, okay? And there we go. Do you see how there is a number one and a number two and a three, so forth and so on? I want one inch, which is the edge of my ruler to the first number. Now, if you're not using a ruler and you have a book, just take a guess. So we're gonna put our ruler on the edge of the dot and mark it right on top of where it says one, just like that. You see that? Make it darker, okay? We're gonna do the same thing on this side, but I'm a little backwards, so I'm gonna put the one on the dot and mark my paper on the edge of my ruler. There we go. Do you see that? Let's see if I can make it darker. Now, now you're gonna take your ruler and line it up straight, going vertical, and let's trace the inside corner of this diamond here. And it looks like a triangle. Trace it up and down from this line to this line. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Your ruler's going up and down, or your book, you're tracing the side from inside this angle right here. There you go. Now watch, I'm gonna take a marker. This is already, I just made my building. I want you to think, and we're gonna go ahead and trace our building right now in a, in a color, whether you have a marker or a crayon, so you don't get confused, because we're about to draw some more lines. So we have our trapezoid, we have two trapezoids. So let me show you, let's see, what color do I want my building to be? Well, let me think, I know I'm gonna have sky and grass so that's going to be blue and this is probably going to be green i might if we have time we'll make a sidewalk which will be gray so i need to think of a color that's not blue green or gray so while i'm looking at my colors i hope you're looking at yours so you can decide what color do you want your building to be i don't know why but i want to make my building orange so i'm going with it so Choose the color of your building and watch me. We're going to trace. Okay, here's a diagonal line. Now, don't trace the diamond. You're going to trace the, we're going to trace one trapezoid. Watch and do it with me. You're copying off of me. I, I literally want you to copy me right now. You'll have some creative choices in a minute. So now, I have a vertical line, and I'm gonna draw my last vertical line. I didn't even erase the dots because I think we're gonna end up coloring over it. And then I have two diagonal. And there is one trapezoid. Pretty cool, huh? That was easy, huh? Now let's trace the other one. So here we have a vertical. Let's move across and trace our vertical line here. And now I'm tracing my, we'll color this in later. I just don't want you to get lost because we're about to draw a ton of lines. Well, not a ton, but a good bit. So got my two diagonal lines. So now this side of my trapezoid is done. I just showed you how to make a building that looks three-dimensional. Now, what is it missing? Very good. It is missing some windows and a door. So we can't just draw a normal square or rectangular shape. It's not gonna look right because it has to be in this two-dimensional perspective. So how do we do that? Well, you see these two dots? Technically, it's like um, a vanishing point. So from this line on, everything gets smaller and vanishes. 
and from this line on this way, everything gets smaller. So we have to draw some lines. Now we already kept our line in the middle. So now we're gonna make, let's make together. We're gonna divide up this part of the trapezoid, the top part on this side and the top part on this side. Let's divide it up. The bottom part on this side and the bottom part on that side. Let's divide that up, cut it in half, however you wanna say it. Now watch, the key is to always make sure you go to the point. You have to bring your ruler to the dot. So put your ruler going through the dot and we're going to make it touch the middle of this line right here. Watch. Um, and I don't wanna draw really that dark, but I am so you could see. You're gonna draw super, super light because these lines we are going to erase. Look at that. Let's go to this side. This dot connecting to the middle of that midway point, that line that we drew. All we're doing is tracing. Very good. Now, do you see we took this half, we made that halfway mark, so we're gonna do the same thing. Put your ruler going through it, all the way to this dot here. This is super easy if you do it with me, step by step. You're drawing your lines light, I'm drawing mine dark. Now I'm gonna put my ruler through the midway point and bring it all the way through this dot. Alrighty, here we go, last one. Now look at that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and erase my two halfway points because we don't need to see it. I just made that for you to see. How's that? Okay, now we're gonna leave these lines. Now these lines are going to help us make our door and our windows. So you can put your door on either side. I'll put one here. Now, the ruler will help because when you make your door, it gets tricky with all these lines. So why don't you put your ruler on one end, touching the edge of your trapezoid, either side, okay? I'm gonna, just to do something different, my door's on the right, I'll put it on my left. Watch, I'm gonna trace it here. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it sticking out. You can make your door as skinny or as wide as you want, but I'm gonna use my ruler to help keep everything straight. I'm gonna trace it here. Now I'm gonna mark it off. Here's my door, but I want to make you know two big doors. So I'm gonna guess that's about the middle. I'm making two doors together like a and enter and an exit. And I'm drawing two circles for the doorknobs. I just made two doors and now, and I made it stop at the bottom and the top of that line. Very good. Now let's go ahead and make some windows. Let's make a long window. Take your ruler and put it on the edge of this line. I'm gonna go up and down here. And let's just make, let's just trace it. Let's make this whole section a window all the way to the end. How about that? I'm just making it darker for you to see. I just drew one line right in the middle you can use your ruler or you can just freely draw. And then I'm gonna kind of draw this one. Now you see we have to make it go to the point. I mean, this is the nitpicky part, that's okay. You can just draw a slight angle in the middle. Technically you keep on going, but that's fine. So I just made one window. If you want, we can color in our window now so we could see it. Let's do that. 
let's go ahead and color in our window. And I think my door is going to be brown. So I'm gonna color in my door. Now, so you can do this with me. If you have a brown building, then you can choose maybe a different color for your door. And we're gonna draw some windows on the other side too. Okay. I wanna be able to see both doors. I might have to trace it in black so we could see it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Uh, it's kinda of hard to see. Trace it in black. I want to be able to see my two doors. Okay, now let's go ahead and draw maybe another another window on this side or two. We can draw a small window. You can use your ruler if you need to. Um, let's see. You can make a really big window here, but I'm just going to stay in this area. Let's just stay in this area. Watch. I'm going to go straight up and down. Keep your pencil straight. If you need help, use a ruler. We're gonna make two small windows. And I'm gonna go straight here. I'm not using a ruler on this side, so you could see. I'm tracing it. And now the tricky part, you can just kind of take a guess. If I went straight across, it may be a little off. So remember, turn your ruler to where it always goes to that point. And if not, that's okay. You can just kind of guess. All right, let's do one more. One more window. We can color in the window straight. Your vertical lines are gonna stay the same though. That's the easy part. It's the diagonal ones that get a little tricky with two point perspective, huh? So now I'm tracing these. Here's my vertical straight lines, the easy ones that we make with rulers, that never changes. And I could actually just copy this diagonal line. Now, I just made my two small windows. Let's color these in together. And after we make the two windows and the door, we are done. I mean, you could always add more, but I'm going to stop there. And then we can erase all of these lines on the inside of our building. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's erase. Now, my lines are very dark. Yours. I'm sure are lighter than mine. And if not, that's okay. We're gonna erase the best we can. I just wanna see my windows, my door, and the building. Okay. And just leave these alone right now. Let's just, we're leaving the ones outside the building alone, the lines, leave those alone. Let's just erase the ones on the inside. And then I think I'm gonna trace my, the window panes. Why not? I can trace it in black or brown or any color, really. So if you can, go ahead and trace the window panes, which is the outside of the window, so it stands out and we could see it. Wow, your building, I bet, is coming along so neat. Who would have thought that two trapezoids could give your building a really neat look. It makes it look kind of like it's popping out the page, huh? That's what we call. It's a two-point perspective, but it gives you the illusion of a three-dimensional drawing. So let's color our building together. Now I'm choosing orange. Maybe you wanted a purple building or a pink building. You can make whatever color building you want. So we're just gonna color it together. 
I think it looks pretty neat, huh? And you can create lots of different buildings with two point perspective. Um, perspective drawings like as long as you put two points on the end you will always have a really neat looking building there's lots of ways that you can draw other designs of buildings by making two points all right let's just keep working on filling in the inside And now you can see this side, this trapezoid is finished and now I'm working on this shape, this trapezoid. All right, very good. Now, if I'm going too fast, you could always pause the video and I will be here when you get back. Okay, so now we are finished with our magical trapezoid building. We're gonna create a sky and a ground. And do you remember how we made that straight line, the line that goes through these vanishing points and I called that the horizon line? Okay, that is gonna be where the sky separates the ground. We're gonna stick with that for today, okay? So I'm gonna darken my line, the straight horizontal line that runs through my dot or my points, whatever you wanna call it. Can you see that? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is erase these little lines on top. And if you can get part of the dot, if your dot was big like mine, the circles, you can erase it. I just wanna see a straight line that was running through the two points and let's get rid of these small ones now in the other drawing next to this I created a sidewalk I'm not gonna have time to show you how to uh, make a sidewalk I can demonstrate it real quick with the other drawing but we're not gonna make it today basically if you want to make a sidewalk all you have to do is put your ruler remember you have to always go to the point put your ruler on the point cover the building and you can make your sidewalk however you know thick or thin you want and then you trace you do the same thing on this side and you trace and then you just draw some lines and then you can color it gray um, or you can even make that into a road but we're not going to do that I'm just gonna, we're just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna have grass in the sky, but I would like to make some trees. It's always nice to have a tree by a building, right? So let's go ahead and make maybe, we can make two trees on each side. I'm gonna make like an oak tree, maybe have a, um, a curvy trunk. And just, I'm gonna use curvy lines. bumpy curvy lines or wavy lines to make the um, leaves and I'm going to put another tree on this side just to kind of fill up some of this space and I like to make my trees the leaves of on my tree a little um bumpy all right and I am finished with the drawing the rest we can put, um, you can put objects in the sky. You can put birds, butterflies, whatever you like. You can put a couple of clouds. I'll go ahead and put a few clouds. I think I'm gonna have a daytime sky. So my sky is gonna be blue. I'm gonna color the sky blue today. And the grass, I'm gonna color green. So we can start coloring. Now that we're finished with our tree. 
And if you would like to add a sidewalk or a road, you can. But I'm just gonna start coloring in the tree. And you can even make some roots if you want. Like if it's a big oak tree, oak trees have big roots. Why not? Let's go ahead and make the roots come out of our tree. Just some wavy lines. There we go. And I'm going to color in. Now you can put maybe some different types of fruit growing on your tree if you want to be creative. Maybe you want to put a sun in the sky. Or maybe you made some rain clouds and it's a stormy sky and you're gonna have gray clouds. And if you don't have a gray marker or a gray color, do you know what you can use for gray? You can use a pencil. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my picture. This is coming out so nice and grass has texture um, when you walk on the grass outside you can see the blades of grass going up and down so I like to color the grass up and down notice I'm coloring up and down and along the edge I might go on the side So far, so good. This is coming out really nice. And then I'm gonna get this side. Let me switch markers. This looks like a different green. There we go. Now, the wall that I'm um, working on is kind of bumpy, so you may notice the texture of the, the bumpiness on my picture. <laughs> if you're working at a table, I'm sure it's a lot smoother, but I'm gonna go back and work on it some more when, after I take it down. So yeah, let's keep. Now, I'm coloring grass. Maybe you don't want grass. Maybe you want your building to be in the sand, or maybe you want the whole thing to be on concrete. It's up to you. You can be creative. You can decide on the colors in your picture. I just wanted you to copy the drawing step by step so you can learn a new skill. All right, so I said I wanted a daytime sky so i am going to color the sky blue and i'm going to leave the clouds white now when i'm working on a sky in any picture i tend to color side to side because now it's a landscape it's a view of the land and usually with the sky, you're gonna work side to side in a horizontal direction. Oops, I just colored over a cloud, that's okay. Can make another one right there. And we are almost finished with our picture. Now, if it's a small space, I'll, I'll work up and down usually, but I try to go side to side. So I'm leaving the clouds white. So maybe your sky Maybe you have a nighttime sky. And if you have a nighttime sky, you can color your sky black. Maybe put some stars in a moon. 
or if it's a sunset sky, maybe you had some orange and some pink. I am finished. I am super happy with my magical trapezoid picture. <laughs> Who would have thought that two trapezoids would make a really cool looking building? I hope you had fun today and I'm sure your picture came out great. Thank you for joining me today. We will be posting a new lesson every day at 10 a.m. on the Acadiana Center for the Arts YouTube channel for kindergarten, first and second grades, each tying into the academic curriculum. You can also get these lessons on AOC as part of the Learn United program accessible on Cox Channel 16 or LUS Channel 4. Kindergarten lessons air at 8 a.m. and first and second grade lessons air at 9 a.m. Some lessons will be in visual art and some will be in creative movement. So be sure to come back and make art with us tomorrow. If you were interested in supporting programs like this, visit the Acadiana Center for the Arts.org the nonprofit organization who manages this PACE program. Spread the word, share our videos, and keep making art. If you want more, you can book me for a private online lesson, and my email is in the description box below. I hope you had fun today and have a great day.